In this video, I'm going to be doing kind of a special little episode talking about the Air Raid offense, why it's my favorite offense of all time, and kind of dedicating this video to Mike Leach. Mike Leach is um, a coach that unfortunately passed away today, he was the head coach of Mississippi State, also coached at um, uh, Texas or uh, Washington State, Texas Tech, Kentucky, and was the offensive coordinator at Oklahoma, I want to say... Uh, I actually can't remember who that coach was for that. I think it was, uh, man, uh, my, my memory's fading. I can't remember uh, the name of the head coach. I think it was Bob Stoops, I want to say. But anyways, he had a profound impact on the game of football. He had a profound impact on me personally. And so I wanted to do kind of a video just talking about one of his um, core differences with, with his mentor, um, Hal Mummy, who kind of together they uh, kind of co-developed or packaged uh, the air raid offense and the air raid offense is a lot more than just a, a collection of plays um it's certainly a philosophy and the philosophy um of the air raid offense is something that i personally really buy into and it really is simplicity um simplicity spacing and uh throwing the ball to fast guys in space and allowing them to make plays and so um the play we're gonna be talking about today is really one of my favorite plays uh, of Mike Leach's, and it's the key difference between him, one of the key differences between his version of the Air Raid and how Mummy's version of the Air Raid, and that is the mesh concept. Now, uh, I'm going to be I'm going to be dropping, I was planning to release an Air Raid ebook later this year, but we're actually going to go ahead and drop the, the Mike Leach Air Raid offense um, tonight in the Patreon. If you guys want to get access to that, it's only $10. The link is in the description to sign up for that. Uh, Patreon members get access to all of my eBooks, all of my updates. Um, this will make our 21st eBook of the season and uh, kind of a special tribute to Mike Leach. Wanted to get it out there to you guys today. So been going back over all of my notes this morning um, about the air raid offense and why it's so good and why I think it's actually had a profound impact. Uh, three out of the last six Heisman Trophy winners uh, were in the air raid offense. The other thing, um, several of them, I think it was three of the four, um, three of the last four Super Bowl champions, uh, I think were running versions or, or packet or uh, concepts that were kind of originated with the air raid. So anyways, with that in mind, like this offense is, is clearly one of the best offenses of all time. And um, yeah, it's my personal favorite to talk about. I could talk about this offense all day long. So um, without further ado, I want to talk about the core difference uh, between Hal Mummy and Mike Leach in the in the in the uh, umbrella of one of the concepts that I think the Air Raid is most known for, and that is the mesh concept. Now, mesh concept is actually um, not a great way to call this because um, the mesh route is actually more of a checkdown route uh, than, than it is anything else, um, and so. The concept is actually known as 92 in the original uh, Air Raid offense. And originally, the Air Raid was actually out of two back, which if we come over here to, uh, I think it's split, is it split slot open? This is kind of a two back variation of mesh, mesh posts and stuff like that. Now, um, really the key with mesh is two things. Number one, it's who are you going to mesh? Um, and the big difference between Mike Leach and How Mummy, How Mummy would be meshing the tight end or the Y uh, with the outside left receiver. Uh, I'm going to apologize. I don't know the, I don't actually know the actual ter terminology. I want to say the Z receiver, but I could be wrong. Uh, but anyways, um, I know the, the tight end was known as the Y. So anywho, um, whereas Mike Leach would mesh the uh, slot receiver and the tight end. I think the slot receiver in their offense was known as the H, um, you know, so for what it's worth. Now I think this is best ran with the back, uh, or with the with the back to the boundary, uh, in my opinion, or the back to the short side of the field. And so again, the core difference between the two. This was Hal Mummy's variation of mesh, to a degree, um, where you basically have the H on the flat, and then the tight ends coming across. And you're going to be meshing with those two guys. The running back was either on a swing, a block and release, a wheel. You could do kind of variations of that. Um, and then, of course, there's all these different variations. You could go double wheels, uh, which was actually a really good variation against man-to-man, -man, uh, especially like press, bump, and run. Um, yeah, but anyways, uh, Mike Leach's version would be meshing these two inside guys. Uh, so that would be something like this. And really, he didn't run a lot of post routes in his mesh from my uh, study on this. He ran more of these two capped-out routes or or just out routes in general. Called them corner routes, but they're really more of a capped out or 
kind of a and, and Madden doesn't do it justice. It's more of a rounded out, more like almost like a speed out to a degree. But um, but anyways, um, basically we'd look to see uh, what is the softest cornerback, and we would try to throw these out routes. And you'll actually be surprised to find out because zone is so bad in Madden 23. You can actually throw these, um, you know, these out routes with a lot of with a lot of um, ability. Now, another key distinction is how mummies mesh. They would basically a lot of times they would want to play kind of like um, they would just kind of want to play catch with this this um, outside receiver. So whoever this guy is, their best guy, their best receiver uh, was kind of the key to the whole play, and he was actually the primary read. Um, so they would have really, I think, two or three. Uh, variations of routes he could be on. He could be on uh, a post route, as you see right here. He could be on a out route, you know, as you see right here. And then he could also actually be on like a corner route or type. Uh, it's more of a corner route than a C route, but he could be on some type of like little corner route, you know, to the sideline. Okay. Uh, whereas Leach, again, more of stuff like more of like uh, of a simple thing. Now, um, it's also known about Mike Leach, again, simplicity, and, and this is why I love studying this offense so much, how they whittled it down to um, just a couple of plays that worked really well at the highest of levels in football, um, to me, is the mystery. But really, the beauty of his offense is found in the simplicity and the execution, and he would often run his mesh more so like this. Now, if we were in a three-by-one set, it'd be a little bit different, but Anyways, so the basic uh, the basic concept is to look at the out route first, and then you're gonna work. You're gonna peek the back. The back's not really a. You're gonna look at the back. So you basically, Michael Irvin's gonna be number one. The running back's gonna be number two, and then the mesh is gonna be the number three or the check down. And those mesh routes against zone coverage, they will sit in zone. So as you see right here, they're gonna sit in these zones. And this is a little bit of a Madden kind of being eh, like not doing this play justice. This, this play was so much better in the beta, but unfortunately they don't actually like cross, uh, which is interesting. So you can just redrag them if you want to. Um, the unfortunate part about that is they're not going to actually settle up in the grass, but you can throw them in the grass, right? I can throw them like right in here and, you know, I'm going to have to be a little bit sharper on my reads in the game of Madden. Now against man coverage though, the beauty of this is essentially these uh, routes would run against man and sit against zone. That's the idea. So you basically always have you know, the advantage. So if your number one receiver doesn't work, your back gets covered, then we can check it down to these drags. And as you see right here, that's kind of the problem that Madden has, uh, has kind of blessed us with here is they don't run perfectly by any means. Um, they're supposed to run about three to six yards down the field. So again, just re-slant them or re, re drag them, recross them. And you'll see here against man, we're gonna have a little better success. One of our drags will pop open. And you see that we're able to beat the man coverage. So that's basically it. I mean, the beauty of this though is you can kind of go crazy with this. Um, the idea is to basically mesh, really what it does is it spaces the field really well horizontally. So one of the things Let's say they're playing hard flats and they're cover four or cover three. Any drop eight coverage. See how, see how you have these little windows to throw this? The other thing that you have is let's say they are shading underneath or let's say they are playing hard flats. You'll notice that if they're playing hard flats, specifically on the right side, um, if they are playing hard flats, they're going to jump to the back. And then you'll see here that Michael Irvin's wide open on this quick out. So these deep zones aren't that great against these quick out routes. You know, so that's the that's one of the beauties of this play, is the fact that we can attack pretty much every zone in the game, and then with man coverage, like I said, it's just one, getting one of these guys to get open. Like this, these out routes are actually super underrated, especially if you have short out elite. Um, these out routes are actually pretty decent against man against zone um, because zones have such a hard time getting outside this year. Um, they always suck to the middle, right? So if you can throw these out routes on time they can actually be pretty good reads for you. The other thing I wanted to quickly touch on is just one little variation of mesh that I like. Um, that's just to put the running back on a quick wheel. What you'll notice is that the out route to the right is gonna pull these zones out of the way. And then there's this little, I shouldn't have freeformed it, but there's this little window that you can hit, um, that you can hit your wheel route. So again, just come out, call mesh. I'm gonna wheel the running back. This is why I like to run it to the short side so that he gets up feel better. 
And so you see right in that little pocket right there. Boom. So Mesh is one of my favorite plays. It's been one of my favorite plays for years in Madden. It's one of my favorite plays in real life. And Mike Leach really, you know, perfected um, the simplicity piece of the air raid. You know, it forced, um, and, and, and what it does is it opens up so many other things. But again, the idea with the air raid is more of a philosophy, uh, more, of a, more of a way to look at offense than anything else, honestly. And the other thing that I want to say about the air raid before I, before I let you guys go is they focused on reps and execution. Um, and so it was all about reading grass, not people. So we want to, again, space the field and um, we want to read grass, not people. So we're looking at the grass spots. Where's the open grass? Oh, I see some open grass right there. Okay, I'll take it, right? That's how they were re taught to read the the field. Now, obviously, there's a lot of stuff about the air raid that I don't know because I'm not a professional football coach, um, and I've only started. I've only been studying it for I think two years, um, and also I, I have a Madden lens through which I see everything, so I don't see, you know, I don't. That's why I don't know some of the terminology of the receivers and all that. But mesh has been a staple concept in the air raid for as long as it's been around. And it's one of the one of the defining concepts that is kind of unique to the air raid offense. But if you think about it, it really is more of a a check down play. Um, it's more it's more of a play that you um, the mesh route specifically is more of a, a check down. And really, what this is is I'm trying to read this corner on the outside and basically play games with him. If he's off coverage, I'm gonna throw the out. If he's press man coverage, so like let's say they're showing. Um, you know, a cover two, then maybe I want to audible to curl wheel. I can run the same mesh. I can run the same basic thing as you can see right here, but now I have a post route. So, you know, he can kind of come over the middle and now force, you know, force them to respect me that way. Now I get, it didn't work out great for us there, but you know, that's the idea is like you can use, um, you know, you can use those two or three different variations of routes. Um, one of the other last little bit on this, one of the most underrated variations of mesh is this one. This is a really good horizontal passing concept. What you're going to notice is this out route will pull the flat zones out, running backs open in the middle, and then you also have flat routes on both sides pulling zones out. So by putting, by turning this into a five yard out, they just get open faster. And the beauty of this, you'll see here on the left and on the right. Now it just pulls those zones out, allows you to really manipulate those underneath defenders. So. Full Mike Leach Air Raid Offensive ebook uh, coming out later tonight. Kind of want to honor him by making it a very simple Air Raid ebook uh, for you guys. If you want to get access to that, join our Patreon. Uh, the link is down in the description. Thanks for watching the video, and RIP to one of the best coaches ever, Mike Leach.